David Oliveira is a veteran tattoo collector from Fresno, California. He has dedicated his whole life to tracking down renowned artists to ink his body. Yeah, so I manage a tattoo shop in Fresno called Tower Tattoos. I mean, I'm around tattoos every day. People getting tattooed, it's pretty much built for me. I, I'm covered in tattoos. I just love the industry. I've had about 14 different artists tattoo me. My, some of my favorites are the Raider Ring by Fernie Andrade. I have this Virgin Mary by Rob Miranda. My favorite color portraits, Robert De Niro by Cecil Porter. Being a tattoo collector isn't all that glamorous. David Oliveira spends a lot of time and money scratching his tattoo itch. Some of the pros of being a collector, the whole award-winning thing, I love it. I feel like it's a payoff for all the pain and, and the money invested. And uh, speaking of money and pain, <laughs> those are some of the cons. Tattoos hurt. An expensive lifestyle. Getting tattooed, it, it's, I mean, especially by great artists, it, it, it costs a lot of money. It's expensive. David Oliveira has no preference where he gets tattooed. Conventions or shops makes a little difference when he's getting tattooed by the world's best artists. Um, at conventions, it's kind of cool because I can people watch. There's a lot of things going on. It kind of takes my mind off the tattoo pain. Shops are cool too because it's kind of like a more intimate setting. A little quieter, it's more about business. But either way is fine with me. I mean, as long as I'm getting tattooed, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Up next for David Oliveira is Brian Gonzalez from Ink Slinger's Tattoo Studio. Brian Gonzalez is one of the most talented black and gray realism artists working out of Ink Slinger's Tattoo Studio in Alhambra, California, featuring Fernie Andrade, Fred Flores, among others, which has taken Ink Slinger's reputation to new heights. Um, basically, I love doing um, black and gray realism. It's just something that I just kind of, I don't know, fell into doing and people kept pushing, oh, try portraits, try this. Realistic is just something you can just give somebody like a portrait and it just sticks with them forever. People have kids that have passed away or something and it's just real meaning so it kind of sticks with them and you do a good job and it just stands out in my head, you know, that's something that I just want to keep pushing that envelope to just get better and better on. Even though Brian Gonzalez didn't come from an artistic background, his tattooing is on another level. Um, I never really was like brought up around, you know, any art basically. I'm kind of like the black sheep of the family. It's a way of life, you know, kind of just chooses you. Brian's work is always top notch, but he feels that there's always room for improvement within the industry. Tattooing has went through a, a fad. Nobody's really asking for portraits and realism and, you know, hey, give me a tribal band and, you know, all this stuff. And now they're bringing in photography and everything. Back then it was like, hey, pick, pick something off the wall and, you know, that kind of deal. And basically, I mean, people are starting to push the envelope on us a little bit more. So the, the better the, the, the reference they're bringing, you know, the better the tattoo is becoming. And this is a good thing. When Brian is tattooing a collector with other renowned artists' work, he feels he needs to put down the best tattoo possible. Serious tattoo collectors seem to be uh, drawn our way a little bit more. Uh, when I tattoo somebody, I, li I like to look at um, all their work. It's a little intimidating when you're coming against, you know, some heavy, heavy hitters and you got to put one right next to it, you know. And basically what I try to do is try to put the best one on them. I just, I think it's a good thing. More serious tattoo collectors, they get out more and, and showcase your work. So that's definitely a good, good thing for us. You know everyone deserves a good laugh. Try to be the illest, coming with a half track. Fuck. We don't feel you. What the fuck are y'all saying? We don't hear you. It's a game. We're not playing real moves. Must gun, trust none. Phone, phone, trust none. Phone, phone, touch none. The donkey goes. We don't feel you. What the fuck are y'all saying? We don't hear you. It's a game. We're not playing real moves. Must gun, trust none. Phone, phone, trust none. Phone, phone, touch none.